I was offered a Snickers bar for Halloween, but had to turn it down because currently, due to all the craziness these days, I already snicker way too much. Bye. Whatever do you mean? I mean, honestly, like, did you see when the White House tried to take credit for an automatic social security cola increase? Maybe poker is just not your game, I I know. Let's have a spelling contest. An increase that kicks in automatically when inflation goes up? Special Agent Utah. This is not some job flipping burgers at the local drive-in. Thereby basically bragging about how they made inflation go up? Yes, the surfboard bothers me. Yes, your approach to this whole damn case bothers me. And yes, you bother me! I mean, I mean, honestly, how could anybody not have a snicker problem these days? I swear. Tell me something. Are you stupid or something? Stupid is or stupid does, sir. It's like... The White House trying to take credit for the Social Security Cola increase is like driving a spear through some dude's gut and then trying to take credit for the stomach tissue as it attempts to sew back together. It's like Sun Tzu wrote in The Art of War, never give up, never surrender. It, it's ridiculous. That was Tim Allen in Galaxy Quest. Whatever, dude. It's like, hey, look, look at the way I got that dude's stomach tissue to try to mend. That gaping gut gash I put in his stomach. God it, Gump! You're a genius! That's the most outstanding answer I've ever heard. You must have a gut IQ of 160! Honestly, I'm trying to cut back on both sugar and snickering, and reducing the snicker bar consumption contributes to both goals. There's a difference between us. You think the people of this country exist to provide you with position. I think your position exists to provide those people with freedom.